John, thank you. Uh, this morning, we are learning several nurses in California are suspended for refusing treatment to coronavirus patients. Allie Bradley joining us now to explain that decision. Allie? Yeah, good morning, Bill. So 10 nurses in California and Santa Monica have been suspended for refusing care to COVID-19 patients. Now, they're refusing the care because they're saying that they don't have the proper PPE. They don't have the N95 masks that we've been talking about that are really, really essential for our frontline workers here. So they're basically out of a job right now. Now, they are being paid while it's being evaluated. However, I need to mention here, CDC doesn't require these N95 masks. However, we've heard from doctors. We've even heard from the CDC. DC, that they do block out 95% of those bad particles that those other masks don't catch. So these nurses, I mean, you can see right here, these are nurses. This is a California nurses union, and they've got bandanas on, and they're saying the bandanas are not PPEs. They're not adequate protective gear. So let's show you a tweet here from the National Nurses Union here this morning saying hospital industry bailout, 100 billion funds earmarked for PPE to protect healthcare workers, zero. Hashtag bailout humans, hashtag COVID-19. So other nurses protesting across the country. Country too. We haven't seen it happen yet here in Washington, but several nurses in different states, including California, taking to social media using the hashtag PPE over profit because they're frustrated here that they're not getting the adequate equipment to be able to do their job and also protect themselves and their families too, Bill. So we'll continue to follow this story, but 10 nurses suspended here in uh, Santa Monica, California because they don't want to treat these patients without the adequate gear. The same